here's my second flight, it's getting a bit lighter now. And let's give it a go. We're not gonna be here long today because it's very, very cold. <clears throat> and I got a funny story to tell you because after I finished flying then and finished telling you about how I taught myself to fly, Cheryl said, no, it's how your addiction started. And I said to her, well, you should have said that on camera because that's very funny. And it's not an addiction, it's a hobby. It's an obsession. Lovely early in the morning like this when the air is still, there's not really any wind with that. There are a few people around, so I'm just being mindful of that. Uh, not actually flying over anybody's head. the Alsatian. Where are you going, dog? Okay, so I'm a bit quiet guys and gals, I uh, just mindful of there was a lot of people around then and uh, I'm not really a big fan of flying over people's heads so I was just trying to manoeuvre it away from where the people were walking. Well, the tender Navy tip stole then. <clears throat> In all the years I've been flying this, I've never ever had it stall, but it nearly went then, so I don't know whether it was because uh, I was a bit heavy on the old uh, rudder and aileron because I'm cold, or... Might be just the weather. Just slowed down a little bit too much. But I've been warned that it can go, and there you go, I nearly experienced it myself then, but just managed to... Uh, Save it before it spiraled down.
Yeah, very cold this morning. Um, my my thumbs are physically shaking with the cold, and that's not always uh, doesn't always make for confident flying. So a little bit sort of like gappy with my commentary there, but um, you know sometimes you just got to be mindful of what's going on around you and make sure you keep things safe. So. <clears throat> Okay, let's get down straight. 